Welcome back to The Roundtable. I'm your host, Ashik Vox, and today I want to talk about Steven Universe Season 6. Since 2014, Steven Universe was only renewed for three seasons. Somewhere along the line, when Season 2 was still running on television, those three seasons got split into five seasons. Season 2 got split into Season 2 and 3, and the original Season 3 got split into Season 4 and 5. Now again, that was 2014 when the show was last renewed. It's been three years, and we have not gotten official confirmation on any renewal since then. Now, a few press releases have said, okay, CV Universe is returning, or yeah, it's been renewed, but it doesn't actually specify if this renewal is past Season 5. This has led a lot of people to speculate, well, does this mean we're in the final season of Steven Universe? Are we in the endgame? Is Steven Universe going to have a finite conclusion pretty soon? Well, the answer is no, and I'm going to explain why in this video. I honestly have no idea how long this video is going to be. But allow me to run down the basics of what we know and how this factors into a likely renewal for Steven Universe and why they haven't announced it yet. First things first, let's look at the show itself. Steven Universe has a very serialized and deep ongoing story. It relies heavily on continuity. And within that continuity, you're going to find numerous plot threads, with a lot of them being unresolved. To name a few off the top of my head, right now a lot of unresolved plot threads, both very relevant to the plot and not so relevant, includes the murder mystery behind Pink Diamond. Who really shattered her and why? How is Lars and the off Colors going to get back to Earth? What's going on with Pearl and Mystery Girl? Are we ever going to get a cure to corruption? What's going on with White Diamond? Where is she? And then of course within those plot threads, hold unresolved character arcs for the likes of Centipedal, Jasper, Bismuth, and much more. And we have characters such as Paradise and Lapis, and although they pop up every few episodes, or every few dozen episodes, both of their character development lately, especially Lapis, and I doubt any of their character arcs are completely resolved. It took us three seasons just to get a concentrated run of Amethyst episodes, which were tied to Jasper's character arc. And as we know, Steven Universe does not do one-off characters, which already confirms Bismuth will return, but I honestly think it'd be pretty strange if Jasper didn't come back. And with the corruption plotline still dangling in the air, a resolution to that would likely result in a resolution to Centipedal's character arc, or at least her being uncorrupted. Finding out her true gem, is she really a Nephrite, or what? And hell, with the no one-off characters policy, that likely means we're gonna see some more townies again. Onion's friends, Mystery Girl, even Mr. Frowny. Although I imagine that everyone's too keen on that. And who can blame me when you have these really massive plot threads that are just not being followed up on? After the production split, each season of Steven Universe has about 26 episodes, but for each volume of shorts they release, one volume takes up one episode in production, and half-hour episodes constitutes two episodes production-wise. So really, it's less than that. Seasons 2, 3, 4, none of those seasons actually had 26 complete episodes because of those shorts or half-hour episodes taking up a number in production. That coupled up with the pacing of Steven Universe, something I picked up on is that the show prefers to do two arcs per season. While season 1 didn't really have an ongoing arc until the very end, Season 2 had the Sardonyx arc, which was part of the Finding Paradox arc, so I guess you can count them as both the same thing, or at least the Sardonyx arc as a subsection of the Paradox arc, and you can call the second arc either the Cluster arc, the Barn arc, or the Paradox Redemption arc. A lot of fans either call it the Cluster arc or the Paradox Redemption arc, but I recall Matt Burnett stating that the Crewniverse refers to as the Barn arc. Season 3 opened up with the second half of the Barn arc, from Fighting Mal Kettle Mask Island, to the baseball game with the Rubies. Then we had some filler, after that we returned to Slice of Life episodes, with some lore episodes sprinkled in such as Monster Reunion, and then starting with Alone at Sea, we slowly transitioned to Season 3's second arc, the Jasper arc, or as some people call it, the Amethyst arc. With Season 4, it took a while, but in the middle of it, we got the Zoo arc, some downtime, and then its second arc, what Cartoon Never refers to as the Spring Break arc, or as what many fans refer to as the Abduction arc. So now in Season 5, I actually don't believe the first arc is over yet. And if it is, I'm gonna be disappointed, but I think it's gonna be like Season 2. We were at the barn for what, 13 episodes? And those episodes were part of the Paradox Redemption arc, which started two episodes prior, so 15 episodes. Although six of those went to Season 3. The point is, while I'm positive there's gonna be some Beach City Slice of Life episodes, overall I expect Season 5 to be a different atmosphere. Just by the end of Wanted, it feels different from the other arcs the show has had. And the best way I can describe what I think they're going for this season is that they're treating it like a three-act movie. Wanted was just Act 1, going to Homeworld, starting the murder mystery, and Steven returning to Earth, but he doesn't have Lars with him. And I have no doubt that Season 5 will mainly be the murder mystery. 
who really shattered Pink Diamond, or how did Rose shatter Pink Diamond? Act 2 of the season, we'll be getting Lars off Homeworld in Act 3, I would imagine being finding out who shattered Pink Diamond and dealing with it. Confronting the culprit. I think it's gonna be more like season 2 with the Rx factor in from the overall plot, the overall conflict of that season. Season 2's conflict was Finding Paradox, and while the Sardonyx arc and the beginning of the Barn arc were two concentrated ongoing stories, we had numerous episodes sprinkled in of the Crystal Gems trying to find Paradox or confronting Paradox, Paradox escaping during an episode, the list goes on. Ideally season 5 would be that times 10. But again, pacing matters. The murder mystery will likely consume all of season 5, not including the inevitable Beat City episodes, which would likely lead corruption for season 6, and season 7 would be the grand finale. But again, what evidence do we actually have that season 6 is happening? Well, even though it hasn't been spelled out, just look at the Crooniverse. Look at the production of the show. Steven Universe records new episodes every Wednesday. Now, I have no idea if this is multiple episodes at a time or one episode a week. Although, if I had to make a guess, it's probably one episode a week. Although, we do know that some voice actors do record for multiple episodes at a time. Or at least, multiple tidbits at a time. If memory serves, Patty Lapone recorded What Sees the Feeling Blue when she came in to record Messages Received. We also know episodes are recorded at least 9 months ahead of time. Both my speculations for Room for Ruby and Steven Universe Wanted relied on pictures and information of voice actors recording lines 9 months prior every single time. And that's just 9 months until the episode's completed. Now, I have no idea how long their vacations are for holidays. But there's 4-5 to five Wednesdays a month. So from October to November, they would have recorded about 8-10 to 10 episodes. Again, I have no idea how holidays work. So let's just skip December and go to January. We're currently in July and they're still recording episodes again every Wednesday. So just accounting for the first six months alone, at most they would have recorded between 24 to 30 episodes this year already. Now I'm sure these recording sessions factor in doing some retakes, some post-production stuff, but overall animatics are still voiced. And if they have recorded between 32 and 40 episodes since Wanted, well, again, we have 26 episodes a season at most, which means... They'd be recording around mid-season 6 right now, and if anybody keeps tabs on storyboarders, you'd see that they're still pitching episodes. Plus the fact the storyboarders are still even working and that's like the first step in production, or one of the first steps. And considering season 5 is already airing, at this point they wouldn't even be pitching episodes. To clarify that's an assumption, I do not know the ins and out production 100%, especially for animation. With that being said, I still really don't see them pitching episodes for season 5 this late in the game. And as we saw the episode Lars's head, the show is still getting new crew as some OSAP members are leaving, but we have a new storyboarder from regular show. This video is off script, but at the top of my head I know her name is Madeline. And I remember when I originally looked into her work, seeing that she was a storyboarder, she worked on a regular show. So I'm assuming after that ended, she moved over to Steven Universe. And while for animation, storyboarders joining the last season is not unheard of, I still think it's a bit odd they would add an abundance of Crew Universe members. It may be more fuel for the fire. Let's also keep in mind our own Mackenzie Atwood is interning at Cartoon Network Studios for the summer, interning on Steven Universe. Which again, I'm not sure they would allow that if the show was nearing its end. But this is all conjecture. Also, please be respectful, don't try to hound Mackenzie for spoilers. I know that's common knowledge, but I'm still gonna be safe. Like, she doesn't even tell us anything, because it's her job. And even if she wanted to, she can get into big trouble for that. So, if Season 6 or even Season 7 is guaranteed, how come it hasn't been announced yet? Well, I believe it's timing. Now that we're actually in Season 5, I think they're gonna come out and say, okay, yes, yeah, Season 6 is happening, Season 7 is happening. I can actually see that announcement happening this year at San Diego Comic Con. Oh yeah, one more thing. Steven Universe is Turner's number 5 show out of all their networks. It's number 5. That is way too high of a number to just cancel it. Yes, admittedly, it's not as profitable as Teen Titans Go. It's not as easy to rerun like that or Gumball, which is why they have special marathons to rerun Steven Universe, or why, as of late, they've been rerunning the specials. I recall Out of This World being reran a lot when it first aired. I remember two times in one day at some point. And while I don't keep up to the Cartoon schedule too often, I'd be surprised if they didn't rerun one in a few times. It's especially since they really pushed it in advertising. The show is popular, it has a huge following, and Card Network is aware of that. If you look at their social media, Steve Universe has a huge presence. And what other show on the network is holding a FanForge contest for t-shirts? That's right, if you're an artist and you possibly want to get your art on a t-shirt, it's possible. 
Link to that in the description. I think it's really interesting and it's really cool. There is clearly a lot more story to tell in Steven Universe, and I don't see it ending anytime soon. One more season at least. At most, I would say two more seasons. I'm not sure if you guys realize this, but when Cartoon Network has a popular show, it, it goes on for a while. Adventure Time started in 2010. It's just now ending next year. Gumball started in 2011, and I know at the very least the creator is leaving at the end of season 6, is it? Season 7, 8? It's one of the, again, a lot of seasons for a show. It's still going to be running next year, which is 7 years. The regular show ran for almost 7 years. If it doesn't at least make the 5 year mark, I'd be shot. And again, the show has slow pacing, so I think getting 2 more seasons at least wouldn't hurt the story at all. But what do you guys think? Do you think season 6 is happening or not based off of everything I presented here? But yeah, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And as always, if you enjoyed this video, please do a like, and if you're new here, hit that subscribe button, it really helps us out. We have our Blue Diamond, I'm always playing Blue Parody t-shirts, available until next Sunday, July 9th. After that, it's probably gone forever. And if you're feeling generous, please consider subscribing to us on Patreon. It really helps us out, and with our Diamond tier, you'll even get a shout out. Links to everything in the description below. Ashrak Vox, signing out. This video has been powered by Patreon. If you want to give us some more support, head to patreon.com slash roundtablevids, become a patron, and get some awesome perks. Thanks for watching another video on the Roundtable. If you want to get more involved for our community and watch videos from Let's Talk with Tom, Voxbox, and more, click the video right here. Or if you want to get some more of the animation goodness, watch some Crystal Clear or Mini Monday, click the video right here. And please, don't forget to subscribe.